There really isn't a year that goes by out here in Idaho where someone does not get lost or stranded uh, in the mountains. Sometimes they come out alive and sometimes they don't. Um, your best bet is to be prepared, knowledgeable and prepared. Know how to use your equipment, know what to use. So I'm just giving you a rundown of what I keep in my truck. Um, I've got a family of four, my husband, myself, two boys, and a dog. So I guess a family of five. Um, so yeah, going to tell you what I keep in my truck and hopefully I'll make this short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, so this is the center console. Um, if you ever go to the ER, hospital, whatever, pick up one of these. It's a puke bag. If you've got kids, they will come in handy. Also, too, if you are ever in a survival situation, you can carry it around for water. Um, I've got several of the... Uh, I've, I've got a map right here. This is a really old map. Um, I've got survival booklets. There's first aid and that one, Outback Skills. Um, I also have mace, although I've never used it. I still have it. Um, got a multi-purpose tool, specifically for I don't even know. I, I haven't used that yet in my truck. Um, extra bullets. Hand warmers. Good lord, we all need hand warmers. Um, I picked these ones up at Amazon. It was a nice, good size box. Here is my multi-tool. This is a fantastic little tool. I'll get to that in a second. Um, snacks, that's just one of the ones that I have. Um, good working flashlight that you can plug into, and I can't go, oh, there it is, there's the button, uh, that you can plug into the cigarette lighter, get it charged. Um, this is a survival knife. I have two. I believe one of them is my son's. Anyway, this is, this deal there is to hit glass and break glass. This right here is to cut your seat belt. And of course, it's a thumb flip knife thing. I always carry chapstick as well. Uh, these are little towelettes. I got those from the dollar store. You get them wet, they expand like nobody's business. Another pair of gloves. Um, oh, yeah, I normally carry more knives in here, but I don't. All right, so this is my Gerber multi-tool. Um, I, mostly I use this for fishing. Uh, really, I, I use the pliers for fishing. You can grab that hook and pop it out. But there's knives, scissors, uh, a little saw, can opener. It's a really neat little tool to have. I love it. Okay, so tweezers. Um, why in the world do you have tweezers in your truck? Well, tick season, my friends. Um, I have pulled and plucked more ticks in, in one summer than I have in my entire life. Thank you so much to the dog. Even though we had frontline, um, after I, I had to use two doses on her for, with, with frontline, um, and, and I was, I, I have plucked, um, ticks out of my, of the one boy, my oldest son, but yeah, pluck, boom, you're done. Um, if you don't know how to pluck a tick off, which I didn't the first time I freaked out. Um, I'm sure I'll make a video of that when I get one. Uh, anyway, another flashlight that, holy smokes, it doesn't work. Hmm, that sucks. Well, and hey, that brings me to another point. Double check your gear. Make sure that everything works. Make sure that you also have extra batteries. Now, what the hell am I doing with a key in my truck? This here key is to a lock box, a lock box that carries my gun. It's an awesome little concealed weapon. Um, it's a Smith & Wesson shield, 9mm. The reason why I went with a 9mm instead of a 40 is because 9mm are an easier round to get. Um, they're a more common round. Anyway, I prefer to have my guns locked up because I have kids. <sighs> And never leave home without a gun, seriously. But at the same time, too, know how to use it. Might have seen this guy already. Um, <laughs> don't leave home without a traveling companion. Um, I've seen a meme floating around on Facebook about um, people traveling with dinosaurs. 
uh, beautiful background, um, scenic backgrounds with dinosaurs in the back. So, or in, in, in as the focal point. So I thought, what the hell, why not? Well, it's caught on, um, at least with some of my Facebook friends. They have themselves a traveling companion, a mascot, if you will. So yes, uh, I named him Johnny, so much like Johnny Cash. He's been everywhere. Let's move on. Oh yeah, can't forget about the tape. Um, this happens to be electrical tape. It works great for just about anything. Um, cuts, nicks, scrapes. My husband is an electrician, and so we have a plethora of this. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, also too, again with the puke bags, I have several throughout the doors, um, pretty much on every side of the vehicle, I've got puke bags. This here is a leash, it's a jogger's leash. You can attach it to your waist and you can be hands-free. If you are ever stuck somewhere, hey, there's a good source of entertainment right there. Okay, so this is just the stuff that I keep inside, um, rope, a towel. I've got another towel in the door over there. This little makeup bag I got from the dollar store. It has a little tiny first aid kit, um, literally a few band-aids, um, and some alcohol wipes. Also two stomach stuff, Benadryl, things like Pepto-Bismol, Pepsid AC. Um, over here I have my snacks. I've got uh, beef jerky, granola bars, a shit ton of granola bars. Um, I do try to buy the higher protein granola bars. Doesn't always necessarily work out. Um, okay, so a couple of bowls for the dog, dog water, dog food. Uh, I also have a lot of, well, about three, two or three uh, fanny packs um, to keep random stuff in. Um, this is a belly band. You can put a lot of stuff in that too. Um, don't go anywhere without your sunblock. Baby wipes, dog leash, um, actually two dog leashes. Oh no, this is the harness. Um, tick, oh God, yeah, yeah. We've had plenty of experience with freaking ticks. They are incredibly disgusting. Um, another set of rope. Bug spray, even though the lid popped off. Um, whistle and a mirror. This is from Triple A. Uh, it is a 45-piece emergency roadside kit. Never actually had to use it, any of this stuff, though. Oh, look, there's another fanny pack. Um, baby powder. Baby powder is fantastic, although I have never used it. So I read on this Pinterest thing that, um, yeah, I got dog food in there. That's my dog food container. Um, also, too, water. Just one... Uh, just one bottle of water though for right now. Um, I got more in the back. So, as far as the baby powder goes, um, I read somewhere that if you're out playing in the dirt and the mud, you throw some baby powder, like on your feet, for example, if you got muddy feet, dirty feet, sandy feet from the beach. Here's a hat, look at that. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Um, anyway, so you get sandy, you get dirty, you get muddy, you throw some baby powder on your feet, uh, throw wherever uh, baby powder is dirty and sandy. Apparently the moisture in the sand and in the dirt. There's some binoculars. Fantastic. Don't ever leave home without binoculars. Um, fuzzy blanket underneath here. I've got a sweatshirt. I've got two and a half things of toilet paper right there. Um, anyway, so Apparently the moisture in the dirt and sand will adhere to the baby powder, making cleanup a lot easier. Um, here is a good road atlas. Never leave home without that either. Oh God, sorry I'm going over this really fast. Um, kind of crazy. Okay, so in the back now I have a shovel, chains, rope. Um, I also have a high boy jack, a walking stick, extra shoes, tow rope, that really awesome tool there. Um, also two more rope, a battery charger, jumper cables, bungee cables, life straw, flashlights, 
toilet paper, a uh, fire extinguisher. This down here is a three-day pack with rations, water container, fire starters, another towel. In here, um, it is kind of, I mean, it's dirty, it's nasty, it's been dusty. Um, in here, I've got my master uh, first aid kit, a wool blanket, and a tarp. Um, in here, I've got little things like quick clot, um, water purification tablets, mylar blankets. In this side pocket, I've got a knife, a small hatchet, and a small shovel. Another coat. <laughs> I'll get back to this in a second. Um, also down here, I've got a full box of MREs. Underneath this guy is my water. Oh, yeah. Down here, there's another blanket right there. Okay. All right, so I feel the need to explain this. Um, maybe I'll, I should do that. You know what? No, I won't do that in another video. Uh, all right, so what you do, you put some toilet paper in there. You fill it about half, not half, what is that? Like an eighth full of rubbing alcohol, and it soaks up into the toilet paper, making this one giant heater if you will You've got your matches on top and your can opener hopefully i've never had to use it but hopefully it works i read it off of pinterest so you know some of those are epic fails and some of them are huge success all right so a few more things that i will be keeping in the truck um more towels i never have enough towels uh, i personally have more than i need for my kitchen bath everything so they're going to the truck. Um, this is my mummy bag that's in here. It's designed for 20 below. Um, it's a really good brand. Now that container is, I guess it, it's not the regular bag that a sleeping bag comes in, but I <sighs> thought I'd make good use out of it. And then there's this, um, my Ozark, tent um it sleeps says that it sleeps two to three so really it sleeps two um and not very comfortably but you know what it's shelter 